In the words of Ron Ferrari's song, God, You Are My Hero, we are prompted to ask ourselves, who is your hero today? The world is in desperate need of a hero, but not just any hero. It's critical to discern between a true hero and one who is simply masquerading as one. Consider the beast out of the earth. As told in the book of Revelation, this beast rises from the earth, adorned with two horns like a lamb, yet speaking with the voice of a dragon. This beast is a master of deception, wielding the power of the first beast and commanding the inhabitants of the earth to worship it. Its powers are impressive, even bringing fire down from the heavens, but they are used to deceive and manipulate. This beast embodies a false hero, one that uses grand displays and manipulative tactics to gain followers. Then there's the mark of the beast, a symbol of submission and allegiance. This mark is forced upon all, regardless of their status in life, and allows the bearer to buy or sell goods. Yet it's more than just a mark. It represents the number of the beast, the number of a man, 666. This mark is a tool of control, a sign of surrender to the false hero. Both the beast out of the earth and the mark of the beast serve as powerful symbols of deception and control. They represent the dangers of blindly following a hero without understanding their true nature. In contrast, the song, God, You Are My Hero, invites us to choose a hero who embodies truth and love, a hero who guides us towards wisdom and understanding rather than manipulation and control. So, as we navigate through life, let us remember to choose our heroes wisely. Let us seek heroes who inspire us to be better, to do better, and to love better. To choose a hero is a powerful act, one that shapes our beliefs, our actions, and our future. So make your choice wisely. Choose a hero who truly deserves that title. Choose a hero who leads with love, truth, and wisdom. Choose your hero wisely today.